What's up everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. We have another episode of Bodybuilding Basics, Bodybuilding 101 for you. And today we're gonna to talk about fats or essential fatty acids, which are essential. Would you believe it with essential fatty acids? Yes, they are essential. Uh, we know that fats play a huge role in regulating hormones, um, in, in improving cholesterol, in supporting organs. So there really has to be a minimum type of fat in your diet. Um, and roughly speaking, we'll go for anywhere between 15 and 30% of your total calories. So we obviously know that fat is, is one gram, uh, per one gram of fat is, is nine calories. So we take our encompassing uh, calories, we can take out those calories from fat, we can take out those calories from protein, um, and then obviously carbohydrates. I think that the things, the things to consider about fat are obviously trying to get healthy sources of fat. We don't need to go over them, avocados, oils, all those types of things. And then obviously staying away from trans fats and and, and we know what those are, right? Yeah, our McDonald's, easy. Um, I think one thing to consider with fats is that they probably won't change too much. Um, the only time that I would see fats really changing is if we're going into a pretty decent deficit and then probably at the end of an off season. Um, if we're going into a decent deficit, we're obviously trying to prioritize carbohydrates. We know carbohydrates are for performance. Fats are there to regulate hormones. Fats are there to help with with, with just general system, system maintenance. They have to be there to help go through everything. They have to be there um, just to help regulate your system. So we would bring them much towards that 15%. And if I'm honest, I've been below that 15%. Um, being someone who's assisted, I have to worry less about the hormone regulation. So it's not a huge, huge deal. But if you are someone who is natural and you naturally have a really, really, really low fat diet below that 15% of your calories, it's probably worth bringing up a little bit to meet that minimum because we know it does, it does help with cholesterol. It does help with testosterone. So two really key things there for, for anyone who's natural. And on the flip side um, of going into that deficit, ca calories become very hard to come by when you're getting up towards four and a half, five thousand calories. So fats really serve as a, an easy way to get calories in because we can, they're super high, you know, they're very calorie dense. Um, and they're you know super easy to get in. For example, you just pour oil all over. You might you could just belligerently pour oil over your rice, and you've got an extra 500 calories without even thinking. So they can be used as a tool to push calories much higher. They can be used as a as a tool to preserve carbohydrates as you come down. A general rule of thumb I like to play by is about 10 grams of fat per 100 grams of carbohydrates. And I also like to put fats with every single meal because you can get those meals. And I don't know if anyone's ever tried this, but or felt this, I should say, but if you've ever had a really hard workout, um, and I used to do this quite a lot, I used to finish, I used to have just like really low fat cereal and whey. And quite often it made me feel a little bit hypoglycemic, a little bit shaky, but it's because blood sugar goes straight up and it slams back down. Well, sometimes if you incorporate fats, it can really slow that, that steep incline in, in insulin and blood sugar and it can slow that decline on the way back down. So you don't get that crash feeling as well as that high feeling. It kind of smooths things out a bit. So I tend to go for about 10 grams of fat per meal. I have about five meals per day. So about 10, 10 grams per meal, 50 grams per day. I also think a lot of good micronutrition comes from fats. Um, we've got to consider the things like avocado, walnuts, you know, amazing things that you can get from nuts, from peanut butters, from oils. Um, is, is something to consider for, for when you're in your off season. But of course, we've got to be conscious they are calorie dense. And, and as people who are looking to build muscle, as people who are looking to perform on a regular basis, I think fats probably come lowest on my scale of importance. Many people may disagree, that's absolutely fine. But for me, I've got to think about my protein first, and then I've got to think about maximizing my carbohydrates, and then the fats will fill in the gap at a minimum. Um, and that's generally how I go about things, except for when I'm in the off season, really, really high. I'm just trying to get as much calories in as I can. If I can't get any more ca carbohydrates in physically, I will just resort to putting fats up a little bit. There's not too much to go about fats. We're gonna leave that there. We don't need to delve and make things super, super complicated with fats. Make sure you're getting a minimum of 15 to 30%. If you enjoy eating fats, if you are someone who enjoys eating fats, go towards a 30%, you know, it's not gonna make a huge difference. If you're someone who doesn't get on with fatty, fatty fish, fatty meat, fatty foods, 
in towards the 15%, but make sure you're keeping that 15% there. That's it for this fat video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back very, very soon with another one completing the circle. Peace and love, everybody. We'll see you soon.